are once again going to the uh, Bangkok Motor Show. Uh, I read somewhere that they've had two attempts to kick this thing off for this year. Uh, they finally got approval from the government to actually have it. And here we are. Uh, I wonder what we're going to expect here with all the face masks and shields. But uh, I had nothing better to do, so let's go and check it out. Yes, the new normal. All your spacing, everything else, but we'll be good. Let's get in there and see what's going on. I was going to come up here. Oh, well. <laughs> check in over there, check in over there. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, so I was going to come here on a Wednesday with Sonia, but uh, we had other things to do on Wednesday, so uh, I'm out here on a Friday on my own, checking it out. So we had one already. Here's the second check-in. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy with all the freaking checks. <laughs> we don't have the virus in this country, really. What's all the check-in? You know, keep all the people in quarantine and come into the country, but the country itself is pretty much devoid, really. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get a ticket. So the ticket booth is over here. Just go and grab a ticket, 100 bar, and go and check it all out. Oh, another Farang. I haven't seen too many Farang around the place. And we're in. And it's a Friday afternoon. It's just turned uh, quarter past three in the afternoon. And it's a completely different show. Not like normal with all the people. Uh, well, still people here, but uh, not as not as crowded as it was last time. So should be quite interesting. Might be get a chance to look at more stuff, I guess, while we're here. I was expecting to see more face masks on the girls, but uh, everything looks pretty good there. Of course, if you're going to live in Bangkok, I think this is almost a must these days. If you're going to live in Pattaya, I think you're going to have to want to get in one of these things. Not so much for the surf, but for, <laughs> for keeping afloat on the streets with all the water problems that you got. <laughs> but anyway. There is, of course, one thing I'm looking for when I'm here. Uh, I'm starting to think about this cap. You know, Harley Davidson these days is not really doing too good in the in the marketplace. Uh, they're artificially inflating their stock stock prices by buying back their own stock. Um, thankfully, I don't have any Harley Davidson stock, uh, making them company look look uh, above board. But really, it's losing money left over left uh, hand over fist as they say. Uh, I'm a Kawasaki driver, so I should think about getting a Kawasaki. I know I had one a couple of years ago, and unfortunately it disappeared. I don't know where it went to, but it's all good. We'll find another one. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, uh, one of our channel, the channels that does Thailand at the moment, CB Media, he'll tell you about all these sort of things. Don't they look freaking hot? Serious piece of work. Yeah, just for street racing. Uh, so much. Motorcycles, I have no idea what this stuff is. And then we managed to walk into the accessories uh, side of the, the show today, uh, even though they said that the, uh, the arrow pointed this, this way for motorcycles. I was trying to get the motorcycles first up. Hmm, quite yummy. I guess the arrow did point the right way. There's the Kawasaki and the Yamaha. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Yamaha. No idea what that is. It looks like uh, accessories, helmets and stuff. I'm going to have a look around. One of the problems, obviously, living in Bangkok, of course, is you know, I bought the nice Kawasaki Vulcan you know, to, to go cruising on. But, um, yeah, no entry for me. You can't go in there um, uh, to go cruising on. But, you know, given you know, the current situation with everything, it hardly ever gets used. I run around the streets and local more than anything else. Maybe I should get myself a scooter. Um, I, I did sort of say to Shun that I wanted to uh, do something about uh, updating um, Mother's scooter because we bought the Fino battery powered by the uh, hybrid last year for Mother, but uh, the seat's too high for her. She doesn't like it. So now Shun uses it to go to, go to work and back, which leaves <laughs> the old Yamaha Fino, which is about maybe nine years old. It leaves that bouncing around in the, as the general go-to vehicle. Uh, and the suspension shot on it. Uh, as it, uh, one, of the, one of the cousins ran it up the back of the utility a couple of years ago, and nobody ever bothered fixing it. Oh, they fixed it with, um, with <laughs> cable ties. Uh, yeah, you know, typical in a back, 
backyard mechanics trying to fix something. I think we made that point uh, a couple of videos ago. But yes, uh, I wonder whether I should get myself a nice little scooter. Uh, maybe in trade in the Kawasaki altogether, but I don't know. The Kawasaki hardly gets used. And, oh my god, sweet. Tell you what, that's a nice cutaway model of a mother. Uh, actually, I think the Kawasaki have actually brought out a 250cc four cylinder recently. I don't know if that's here. one of it's here to look at. Uh, I think it's one of their Ninja series. But yeah, quite frankly, the whole big bike, it's a nice little big bike to go cruising on. And I do plan to go cruising when things settle down. But I really need to do something about um, what to do about, you know, running around the streets. Either get mother's old Spino fixed up. You know, for, you know, I said to Shania the other day, how much would it cost to get this thing fixed up, you know, looking like new again? Uh, she said about five to 10,000 baht. And that's probably got a bad idea to actually get it fixed up. If it can get fixed up properly, that is. Yes, for all the Vulcan fans, yes, there's a sweet ride. Vulcan S Cafe 649cc, 6 speed. Yeah, it's all the same. Probably the same price as before. Prices don't seem to change. Well, I scored myself a, um, a Kawasaki hat. That's uh, first things first. Now I actually want to look at this Ninja 250. Uh, it seems like it's the hottest discussion on uh, all the bulletin boards these days. Yeah, so this looks like it in the green, 250cc. Uh, it's, the, it's the rage um, for, for around town. I wonder what it's just like. Oh my god. Quite comfortable. I, I said I had the, um, the what do you call it, the Yamaha, uh, the Yamaha the M slash uh, a while back. That was quite a fun bike. I actually rode too high, but this thing here, it actually really does feel quite comfortable. Uh, I wonder how much they are. Yes, as you can see, it's a four cylinder, water cool, liquid cool. Looks quite sexy, actually. So it actually costs uh, 269,000. Okay, so my Vulcan three years ago, four, three years ago, cost 200, uh, 285,000 with all the options I put on. But that one there really does look quite sexy. Uh, again, could I be a two bike family? I, know, I think I'd have to sell the Vulcan just to go for this to here. But, uh, Given the fact that it's, you know, it, it probably dual rolls for the sort of rides I do anyway. I can ride the charm on this without any problem whatsoever. And yeah, I am competing with all the loud speakers as usual. Oh my god, seriously. It's obviously it's the, the Suzuki girls are out in show. Yeah, the Suzuki stand as usual seems to be rather subdued. Well, I've never really been into Suzuki anyway, but uh, it's beside the point. KTM is a pretty good brand. Husqvarna, well they make sewing machines. <laughs> I don't know if I could ride. I don't think if I could ride on sewing machine. Sorry. A bit of space here. It looks like one of the stands that booked in probably didn't make it. So yeah, there's uh, obviously sort of uh, <laughs> lack of crowds here at the moment. Um, uh, as for the face masks, uh, it seems to be hit and miss with the face mask. So read somewhere all the girls on the uh, stands would have the clear shield masks on but half of them don't seem to have it they seem to be one of those sort of things that's being ignored and again Triumph it's a nice brand uh, a lot of money for something I probably wouldn't hide or ride much anyway
I always think it's funny the fact that uh, uh, Kawasaki never usually have girls on their stand. Maybe the fact that their motorcycles are uh, just so much better. Quietly driving to herself. <laughs> Yeah, they got BMW stand here as well. We often wonder whether I actually should go and splash out. Uh, maybe if I sold the Vulcan and you know got the 250 Ninja. Uh, it's a small bike, but you know it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, I wonder how it is on a longer ride. Uh, you never really know, do you? Royal Enfield. They always do a good show. Oh for the sort of style and for the uh, market sector they sit in. They don't do too bad. I probably would never own one myself. How odd I didn't see a um, Harley Davidson stand there. Um, that's an interesting concept. They've always been here. Um, maybe they're somewhere else, I don't know. You know this could be just you know, away from the motorcycles, but they look like all the motorcycles were up that end of the, uh, up end of the, up that end of the park. And <laughs> there's definitely no Harley Davidson stand there I can see. I'd like to take a second look. Somehow the masks, well, you still see the pretty girls, they look a bit silly though. Well, the pretties have certainly got to earn their dollars, don't they, or their barts. Uh, what would be a motor show um, without the pretties, even if they do have face shields. So yeah, there's definitely a lack of um, people, uh, again a lack of pretties to look at as well. There's a few there, but uh, it's uh, not the same show. Let's take a wander back up to the motorcycle thing. Maybe I just missed the Harley Davidson span. Uh, I wasn't thinking Harley Davidson, but uh, something to leave home, uh, leave, leave out of the video, something to put in the video, depends on how it pans out. Um, but I said, what would be one of my videos without Harley Davidson? Even though they're not doing too good these days. Everything certainly is spread out a lot more. There's obviously a lot of a lot of exhibitors not here um, this show. Again, uh, that could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing for the. <laughs> I wonder how the numbers are going to go. <laughs> Pretty in red, as they say. This one here's got a cute, lovely smile. This last show we had very tight corridors, um, but that's another thing, They're trying to encourage the social distancing thing. Make wider corridors. Seems to be working. <laughs> it makes, makes the show look less nappy here in comparison. Very cute. I've never even heard that brand before. There you go. Yeah, so one of my friends has asked uh, on, on one of the groups here, uh, so that's Alex, he's asking about, he sort of said, uh, when's, when's the CR, CRF450L due to be released? Right, it's at, uh, the website saying 2021. Let's see, I'm out of here at Honda and asking the same question if they know when it's going to be released. But uh, so far, I can't find anybody that actually speaks English enough or reads enough English to answer that question. Well, it's truck out there with the Honda guys. Um, such is life. Kawasaki guys send out people that can speak English. 
Uh, it's one of the things I've always enjoyed about Kawasaki. A little bit more international. Yeah, so just doing one more pan around before I shut the video down. Definitely cannot see any sign of uh, Harley Davidson here. Uh, that's a really a poor showing on their behalf. But again, maybe that's one of the cutbacks. The company's losing money left over, <laughs> left hand over fist, left over slides. I don't know what they're, they're saying. But yeah, they're losing money left, right and centre. Um, and uh, yeah, buying back their own stock to try to inflate their stock prices. And uh, they don't even bother to put out a show here in Thailand. Oh well, maybe this is the end of Harley Davidson as we know it. Time for the new cap, and yes, I've got a new cap. So there you go, the new cap. Uh, <laughs> it's not a Vulcan cap, it's a Kawasaki cap. Uh, the colour, yeah, I think it'll grow on me. Uh, so, new style, new cap, uh, new looking forward. Uh, no more Harley, no more Harley Davis advertising on my channel, how's that? Well, they've never reached out to me to say, hey, they like you promoting our channel, so stuff you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, not much else to do here. I think I might grab a coffee before I go home and then go home. Peace out, guys. I'll <laughs> catch you later next time. I, I want you to live me up so high, high, a place that